Hello, it's someone put off this adorn here again with another battle report. This time with someone else. And it's gonna be Iron Warriors versus Imperial Fist. So it's actually a little bit misleading to call them just Iron Warriors. The bulk of the force is Iron Warriors, but it's actually a spearhead of Iron Warriors along with a patrol of Thousand Sons. My warlord is a demon prince of Veench with Thousand Sons. I, of course, forgot my mine at home and we had to borrow one, but he's going to have malefic talons and wings uh, and just a squad of rubric marines to help hold points because they're pretty durable. And then on to the brunt force, as I've been running for a long time now, it's just a bunch of demon engines and obliterators backed up with a, uh, with a chaos terminator lord who I still need to paint. I just got him not too long ago. He has a relic weapon, the Spite Spitter, which is a uh, upgraded combi bolter, and then a uh, Lord Discordant on Heck, uh, Hellstalker with a Bell Flamer. To get, and together they're going to run up the board, and then I'm going to drop obliterators and, and blow stuff up. And then I'm going to try uh, stretching the legs on some chain swords uh, now that uh, they finally have AP. Hopefully, uh, some chaos uh, chain sword shenanigans can uh, finally work. All right. All right, here we are at the Imperial Fist. I have some spells set for this guy. We'll get over it when we get to it. So, Warlord is going to be Captain. He's going to have the Eric Aquila. And he's going to have the Teeth of Terror spinning to another command point for that. He's going to have Sword of the Imperium as his Warlord trait. All right, next. Because I always forget. He's going to have Smite. Fortify and Aspect of Stone. Which one's the Libby and which one's the Captain? Libby, uh, Captain. I forgot to go over my spells, but... That's all right. We'll go over it when we get to it. Mm. Three troop choices. I have Assault Bolter Marines, a standard tactical squad of Marines with the Power Fist heavy with a standard Flamer, and then another squad of Primaris with a Chain Sword. For elites, we have Stern Guard Veterans and an Apothecary. This one is going to be the only one that has a different weapon besides their Special Issue Bolter, which is going to be a Combi Flamer. And this one's going to have a Power Sword. For Fast Attack, we have Assault Marines with a Power Axe and Flamer. All the rest are standard with Chain Swords and Bolt Pistols. For Heavy, we have Centurion Devastators. These two are going to be the standard ones with the uh, heavy bolters and storm and storm. What are they called? Storm, storm bolters. Storm or, bolters. Yeah, and their chest. And this is going to be the sergeant with the two glass cannons. We have a thunderfire cannon and a devastator squad with two la glass cannons, two plasma, and a standard sergeant. For troops, or troop transports, we have a land raider. Nope. <clears throat> <laughs> drop pod and a rhino it's going to be two armies faced against each other 1500 points each with the table set everything is ready to go all we need to do is find out who is going first with a roll off of the dice the word is six all right one got a one and i got a six thank you for giving me the six <laughs> <laughs> All right, now for the fun part. Deciding which side I'm going to be deploying on. I'm going to go on... Uh, no, on defender base. Yeah. Unless you're going first. Or unless you're giving first. Uh, yeah, you go first. Okay. Go uh, which side are you going to go on? Defender picks which side the other person goes first. Oh. That's how, that's how they balance it. So you get to pick if you want to be attacker or defender. If you pick defender, you pick the side you're on. If you pick attacker, you get the option of going first. Let's go with attacker then. So you're going first? Yeah. And I will pick this side. All right. <laughs> All right. One quick thing to note I didn't go over earlier. He is my warlord, yes, but he has the Cult of Magic spell and Relic to give him pl um, plus one to cast and plus one to Mortal Wound. He knows Doom Bolt, Warp Time, and Smite and Cult of Magic spell. All right. Any other spells? Nope. For the rubrics? They only, they only know smite. Okay. All right. So with that out of the way, we're set up and ready for the game to start. Deployment done. Setting up terrain done. I'm going first, so 
I'll see you at the end of the movement phase. One. Movement is out of the way. Now we're getting ready for shooting. Shooting phase is going to be really fun. Might have to run that one assault intercessor squad. Try to get on the point, but otherwise, whatever. All right, now we're going to go on to the shooting phase. Be right back after that is done. All right, so at the end of the shooting phase, no secondaries were, uh, well, uh, taken, sadly. Got it down to one wound on the venom crawler. Got this one down to one wound, so that's a plus for me. And took a few off of this one. Squad right here of Iron Warriors. Otherwise, nothing else really happened. Going to skip the assault phase and just go on to your turn one. All right, so gain my CP and immediately spend it. You know, <laughs> you know about um, you know about demon engines. Yep. He regained one wound, and then I spend one CP, bringing me back down to eight, to give him three more, putting him at five wounds. Ah. Yep. A little bit more durable. Uh, All right, I guess I'll. I don't have any command phase stuff to do, so that's my move. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll see. We'll be back after his movement phase is finished. Boy, I'm gonna. You want to say it or? No. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. You, you do. You got the. Uh, you got the personal. Personal. All righty. So movement is finished. These ones all moved up. This one kind of moved over. Everyone, well, basically everyone moved up. This one did warp time on himself and flew over here. My Psyker forgot to, well, didn't really know how to cast the Denial, so he's going through the book right now trying to figure out how to do that. And then he did a smite on them and took out one primary so far. And now for the shooting phase, the one you've been waiting for. <laughs> My favorite phase. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be right back after that is done. Iron Cage. <laughs> Iron Cage Part 2. <laughs> Mine Our, hits hard. It hits like a brick. Yes, it does. <laughs> but a lot of shooting went to the Devastator squad over there. Yeah. Or the Centurion Devastators. <laughs> so I fear for the next turn. <laughs> <laughs> well, this might be a quick you, game. I haven't even dropped my biggest shooting yet. Yeah, I haven't even dropped those two, three yet, actually. Well, those guys can hit pretty hard. They can. Do what they can. <laughs> <laughs> Who drops first? Yeah. Where are we dropping? <laughs> Where are we dropping, boys? But yeah, it was a very devastating uh, shooting phase. I lost these guys here, lost the Centurions there, and they took a few wounds there. And that was about it. And now for the charge phase. Who's going to be charging? Um, this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy are all going to be making charge moves this game. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah, it, it should be taken. So all right, we'll be to, uh, done right. We'll be right back after he is done. Oh, we should roll the charges, man. It's suspense. You want to do it on camera? Yeah. All right, we'll do it on camera. All right. I'm going to move this over here. All right. Use my two lucky dice. The demon prince of Zinch from the Thousand Suns is going to cut off the head of that psyker for thinking he uh, knows about the warp. All right. I am measuring it as a... To be within an Five? inch... It looks like a five inch charge. All right, even with my one good eye, I could still measure. He makes it. Whoa. And he will make it this way. Ah, sneaky. Try and hide like a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> um, All right, who's next? Venom Crawler needs a four, if we're, cause he's gonna fight through the wall. All right. Um, I'm trying to step him through the window. First, I'm going to do it with the. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm going to do. I need a six to do it with the Disco Lord. All right. I'll, do, I'll go him first. Eight. Dang. He's in. Told you if it goes well for me. And now the now the Venom Crawler will go. Eight again. And now here's the charge that's the most risky. Let's see if he can make it. Just want to kill some more. You know what? I'm actually doing myself a disservice here because one of my things is I have to kill more stuff than you. Yes. I'm gonna run out of stuff. <laughs> Looks like he needs a six. You already got that one by killing that one squad. What one? <laughs> yeah. I got, yeah, I know. I'm just over. I'm, I'm wasting all of these point potentials, but. Yes. Nevin, he makes it. Dang. I need every charge. I'm sorry. None of them were nine inch charges, though. Yeah. 
So there's one more charge I can make. If I make this one, I'll feel really bad. Yeah, it's Iron Warriors versus Imperial Fist. I think I need a 10 inch charge. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna, probably not gonna make it, hopefully. I feel really bad if I made it. But I'm gonna try and go for it. Doesn't make it. Thanks. All right. <laughs> now an eighth, I could command reroll to one dice. But no longer, we, you have yeah. to roll both if you want to. Yeah. And that's not good. Ugh. Yeah. All right, so we'll be right back after the fighting is done. All right, so at the end of the fight phase. He's dead. Those three are dead. This thing moved in. They smacked him, did one wound, which is funny. And the uh, rhino got destroyed. And the rhino got destroyed, but they didn't, it didn't explode, and they didn't get hurt getting out. So we're going to go to my turn for turn two. Yeah. Turn two, this is where the deep strikes happen. Yes. Yeah, I got a, uh, maybe they're pewter, maybe they're not metal. I thought they were metal. Nice. Got them on eBay. <laughs> I didn't paint them myself. I'm doing all my black Templars as firstborn. That's, I, I, I got, uh, right now is the best time to do um, like firstborn only armies. Heck yeah. I really feel like 10th is probably gonna retire him. Oh. That's gonna suck. It's, it's sad. I I hope not, because there's so much good firstborn stuff. And there's yes. so much Especially the model wise and all the extra upgrade sprees you can still get. Yeah, and, well and the fact that you can customize a captain. Yes! I hate not being able to customize captains. Like you can't take a chainsword on the Primaris captain. Uh there's one. Back mark. <laughs> That's the only one. <laughs> uh but yeah, exactly. Not that you want a chain sword on a captain in most cases, but sometimes you do, especially if you give them... Is that the relic chain sword? Yeah, Teeth of Terra. Yeah, it's a great weapon. It works for Imperial Fist, too, since that's what Dorne had. Yeah. <laughs> that is a weapon that killed a Primark. Yes. <laughs> All right, so at the end of the movement phase, since this is my deployment zone, we dropped right here. Let me know in the comment section below if that is not correct, if I still have to be nine inches away, even if they're in my deployment zone. I think it was three. I, I thought, what I heard is you just can't be, you, you have to be one inch away. I heard three. I'll just keep it to three just in case. Yeah. Just to I, play it safe. I could double check, but I'm pretty dang sure you're fine. All right. And I'm going to let you have it either way just for the fun of the game. Yeah, I thought it was only three. Because that's what I remember reading once. These guys deployed here, nine inches away from that, nine inches away from that, nine inches away from that. The guys got out, and they're staying as close as nine inches away as possible. The only one that might not be it is these two. Or these three here and then this guy here. And that's the end for my deployment. Turn two. I scored only five victory points at the start of my command phase. All right. Here we go to the shooting. All right, so that's the end of my turn two for shooting. Killed one there, killed two there. Did three mortal wounds on that. And everything else was kind of lackluster, especially the Thunderfire Cannon. Don't bring Thunderfire Cannons anymore, or Whirlwinds, they've been... Nerfed. Nerfed out of the game. The gym vessel list of uh, three Thunderfire Cannons and three Whirlwinds. Gone. And that used to just kill your whole army in turn one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you ever saw that list or played it, that was a mean list. Yes, for Imperial Fist? Yeah. Oh, that was disgusting, it made me want to buy one. People <laughs> would either do Imperial Fists or Crimson Fists, but yeah, yeah. it's such a mean thing. It's like, alright, I put all my army in the back of the board so you can't reach it. And then I just shoot in. <laughs> yeah. All right, now for the combat charges. Spending a command point, or two, I think it was for them. I'll double check in a bit. For the Demon Prince, these guys are going to try and charge into the Venom Crawler, which is right there. Unless that's the uh, Lord, the Disco Lord. The Venom Crawler. Yeah, so Venom Crawler. And then those guys are going to try and make it into the uh, Thousand Sons over there. The veterans are. They're going to go into the Thousand Sons? Mm. I don't think I can. It's a, it'll be a 10 inch charge. I still have to, I'm still going to give it a try. You could also try and charge with the captain. If I am know. with those uh, five over there. Yeah. Just be careful because this guy is a character and can heroically intervene. Yep. That's what I'm going to try to do like a little Only around. Only three inches, so you're probably okay, but. Yeah. I'm still going to try to go, like, around. 
Other than that, I think that is going to be it. We'll be right back after the fight phase is done. Yes. All right, so at the end of the movement fighting phase, failed, failed, failed. Made it in, but the sweeping attack again almost wiped out the whole squad. Sergeant somehow lived. Good for him. And at the start of turn two for the Iron Warriors, they get 10 victory points for being in the center and one in the back. So. And we'll be right back after the movement phase is finished. All right, so at the end of his movement phase, it's not looking good for me. <laughs> These things moved out over here. This thing kind of stayed put, didn't move. These guys moved forward. Teleported in, teleported in some obliterators, so goodbye everything. <laughs> the Thousand Suns ran, so they're not going to shoot. Those guys are still standing back there. They're kind of just manning the uh, trenches. They're iron warriors. They they're digging. Trenches. They're <laughs> digging. They're making it more fortified. Yes. Even though <laughs> nothing in this game, is, except for the d demon engine attacks, gets cover safe. <laughs> Almost nothing in this game gets covered. Eh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's it. We're going to go to the psychic phase, which we already, we already did. did. Yeah, I smited, killed, and then warp timed into the that boy. Yes. I'm going to give him a two-inch charge or a one-inch charge. One inch. So, oh. yeah, that's fun. That's going to be real fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now for the shooting phase. We'll be right back after that is finished. Forgot to record this part, but the shooting phase went and passed by. A lot of stuff died. I think I only have one, two, three, and uh, four units left on the table that are still alive. I have yet to take down a single one of his units. I hurt that one. And, the, and that one, too. And you hurt that one. But yeah. yeah. Otherwise, it wasn't really that great of a shooting phase. Oh, well. It was a fun game, still. Still going. Yeah. It'll probably end at turn three. I think it ends here. Yeah. <laughs> I think I kill everything you have. Unless he survives. Unless he survives. He's got two saves to make right now. Yeah, and he only has two wounds left. If he fails both of them, he's done. And then and then I have to make the chainsword attacks. Yeah, and that's going to be very deadly. Those are chosen, right? Or just no, infantry? Just, this is infantry. Ooh. All right, so let's see. Save. Saved. Saved. All okay, right, he's so good. Then I get two, or I get three, six, nine... 12 attacks with the chainsword. We'll be right back after the fight phase is done. Because this is a very sad one for me. It is. I need some ultramarines to back me up. <laughs> <laughs> to bring 2,000 boys to ultramarines will kill them all. And Gilliman! <laughs> <laughs> was Gilliman there? Yeah, it was. He was, yeah. I even have Dorn as well. Oh, you have Dorn? Yeah. Do you have a Dorn kit back? No, I actually have him from Forge World. Oh, very cool. Oh, I think I've seen you paint him. That's a good one. Yes. I want to get the Pertorabo. I want to get the more, uh, not Mortarian, uh, the uh, Lorgar and Angron. I just think Pertorabo is cool. But I also might, I was supposed to get a Abaddon from Dan. Yeah. For like cheap. And I was going to kit bash that into being Pertorabo. But I, I don't even, you know, I can't run him. I'd have to just run him as that, Terminator Captain. Yeah. Or, or run Black Legion, which I don't really want to do. Yeah. I don't like Black Legion. The Thunderfire Cannon? So. The cent uh, I was talking about the Centurions first. He needed this match was a little bit too one-sided, unfortunately. But he needed a little bit more anti-tank. The Centurions were good. There is a better choice for them in stuff like Eradicators at, in the anti-tank form, but they don't fit his army as well. They would have been a decent choice. But the Thunderfire Cannon is absolutely worthless, and at 1,500 points, which is what we are playing at, the Thunderfire Cannon is too much of a hog of a points hog and it wasted too much valuable space that could have been a unit of intercessors or anything that would do something. Hell blasters. Hell blasters. Anything. There's so much other don't take Thunderfire Cannons. You, Unless you're going against orcs or guard. Yeah, or if you're gonna use tremor shells, but you didn't use tremor shells. Yeah, because I was spending command points other with in other places. Yeah, I mean you wanted to try and damage me. Tremor shells would have slowed me down, but it wouldn't have done much, especially what against a chaos player who has warp time, so Yeah. Tremor shells. But uh Yeah, we're gonna finish off the fighting. The captain just died. He uh took everything with him except for one lone uh chaos uh space marine. So Maybe if the attrition happens, uh, we'll get the first kill, first full unit kill. Got to get those uh, planned casualties yeah. for the Iron Warriors. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, last things left we have to do is put the Venom Crawler into the Apothecary and the Demon Prince into the Thunderfire Cannon. Just roll a dice on a three plus, he's dead. <laughs> on, on who? Uh, the, oh, on most of them, because I know you're just going to obliterate them all, so. Three. All right, Apothecary's dead. Thunderfire Cannon still has probably like a couple wounds remaining. <laughs> Oh, and then that thing. Yeah. That thing's definitely dead. So 2D3 or 2-3? Yeah, that's really dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it was a good game. It, it was. It was a very good brunch match, but the Iron Cage definitely wasn't forgotten. <laughs> no. <laughs> Still, yeah, look at this casualty <laughs> list right here. This is the bottom of turn two. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, still a fun game though. Thank Very you for coming. Fun. Yeah, we'll have to play again. Uh, I'll either give you some. Uh, I'll, I'll, I could suggest some things that might make you more successful against my list, or I could bring a little bit tamer list for something. Maybe. Or I could just bring more anti-tank. Yeah, bring more anti-tank. Like two predators. <laughs> Would have been fun. Would have been fun. Yeah. It was, a, it was a good game. Yeah. All right. All right, that'll be it for today. Thank you for watching and joining in. Hope you subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment for, for some stuff that happened. The thing right here with the jump assault guys, we found out going through the rules and asking around that not it's not legal, but we let it roll because it was, it's in the deployment zone still. And we it was, let it roll because we wanted the game to have fun. Yes. I mean, at the end of the day, that's what these games are for. Indeed. All right, well, hope everyone out there is still safe. And uh, enjoy your day, and thank you for watching.